Hi, welcome to Strumming with Steve. Today we're going to take a look at the Bow Diddley Beat where we keep strumming all the time. We don't stop strumming either way, but we let the sound of the pick when the strings are deadened by the chord shape also be heard. So we get that nice percussive sound. We're at the B flat position. I'm using the E shaped bar chord, which is what makes the F. My bar finger is at the sixth fret and I've got this E shape right after that. My fingers are not coming off the strings, they're just lifting up and stopping the tone by stopping it. Hear how that stops? Now when that stops and I keep my pick coming across, I hear a nice percussive sound that actually has a little bit of pitch connected with it. And that's what I want when I'm doing the strum in this way. Now what we're doing is coordinating the right hand, which is going across all the time, with the left hand. So in this case, I usually call this the when hand and this the what hand. The what hand is giving us a chance to hear what we're going to hear when. Okay? Now the other thing the right hand is doing is accenting whenever we're hearing that. So there's a lot of right brain, left brain thing going on here to keep this thing keeping, keeping on, moving steadily and keeping the rhythm tight. So let's just get the bow diddly beat going again and then we're going to start we're going to do it the way we did before. Then we're going to start letting our pick go across those strings even when we're not pressing down over here. One, two, three, four. Here we go. your finger or your hand gets really tired from doing this bar shape so long, you can shift around and let your thumb grab behind, and get the bass note, and cradle it in your hand, you get the same effect. But your left hand is now in charge of when we're going to hear the actual pitches ringing through. And if you ever want to just do that lift up and not hear anything in between, you can let everybody in the band know it's time we're going to finish this right now. Because once you get something going like that, it's you just get hypnotized by it, which is a wonderful thing. That's what we're looking for. We want this to become stuck in the auto automatic part of our brain, not in the I gotta think about it part of our brain. Well, this is Strumming with Steve, and I look forward to seeing you next week with something else. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you'll see anytime something is posted, you'll get it right in your inbox. And if you really want to learn how to play guitar, come on over to jamplay.com and we'll see you there. Bye.